where do you want to start? What do you want to do next? And how do you want to access everything that Internet Energy provides so you can be successful? Okay, and we can go over all these topics or anything else you want to talk about as well. Um, I'm here to really provide uh, some information, but I don't know what you need. So you can email me. We can talk about it during this session, whatever you want to do. But here's what we're going to talk about. You can actually hire me if you wanted to. Uh, you can hire me to work with you on your inspection business for a week. And so you go to that natchi.org URL, natchi.org slash seven days, the number seven, D-A-Y-S, natchi.org slash seven days. Uh, I'm serious. I'll work with you. Uh, no charge. So go to natchi.org slash seven days. And then download your membership guide. If you haven't, down, haven't received one already in your hands, you can download a free, download a free guide um, from the natchi.org page. So let's just go there. I'll show you how to do it. Let's go to natchi.org and you slide down the page and it's a big green button that says free download. And then when you log in, you can see that there's a difference between licensing and certification. So obviously, you know, in Florida, you have to be a licensed home inspector. But you should also get certified by InterNACHI, and I'll tell you why. Because when you attain a license in any profession, really, but in Florida, for sure, it doesn't mean anything. It means that you, are, you have achieved the absolute legal minimum standard for performing an inspection, just like everybody else. And you're holding a license in your hand and everyone else licensed holds the same license, holds the same document that you all, you all have, uh, leg you have met the absolute lowest bar legally to be a home inspector. So why should I hire you? Simply because you've met the lowest legal minimum to be a home inspector. Has nothing to do with your license has everything to do with the value you provide, has everything to do with the fee that you charge, has everything to do with the services, has everything to do with you recognizing that you have to send out a message of marketing that shows that you're better than all the rest, or at least better in your market than all the rest. So that's why you wanna get certified. Attending a license, through InterNACHI is great. We got a lot of free online stuff. We got the exam. You can get take our InterNACHI exam, our courses and things like that. But you have to, that, does, that won't mean that you're going to be a successful home inspector at all because you hold a license. You have to get certified through InterNACHI in order to attain certification. There's six steps. They're very easy. You can do it online before you leave the House of Horrors in Florida, you should be an internationally certified professional inspector and we'll reach out to you and ask you if you want to start your marketing because that's how you become successful. As soon as you attain a license, it's now a race in marketing to be the best. So don't just attain a license and stop. You have to work on your marketing almost immediately. In fact, I would start as a homework assignment become certified by InterNACHI. You become certified by InterNACHI so that our resources for certified inspectors, so you have, we, we have resources for members, all members have benefits, membership benefits, but only like the marketing team will reach out to you when you're certified. We don't work with every member. We only work with certified inspectors. So get certified as fast as possible. There's six steps to get certified and then start working on marketing. And I would leverage your InterNACHI membership in order to work with seven highly talented, professional business and marketing consultants and designers and illustrators that do all of their work for free. So you don't wanna spend money getting into business. This business, you can get in and be top number one dog in your neighborhood for a few hundred dollars, really. You need a flashlight, you need a website, you need an InterNACHI membership, you need to buy a box of business cards from the InterNACHI marketing team, and you're ready to roll. But you have to take advantage of the marketing. So it's really important to get licensed. 
get the uh, InterNACHI insurance, uh, comply with all the state rules, and then work on marketing as fast as possible. That is the difference between certification and licensing. You have to be both in Florida. And you log into your dashboard, InterNACHI dashboard, and click the certification button. We've got marketing tips, marketing resources. We've got business resources as well. Let me show you one. So you log into your InterNACHI account. You should do this almost every day while you're developing your business. And you log into your dashboard and you click the business development link on the left side. So this is me. My dashboard's gonna look a little different because I work at InterNACHI, but slide down and click business development on the left side. And there's BizVelop. BizVelop was uh, developed by my brother, Nick, the founder of InterNACHI. And he walks you through a step-by-step -step checklist, essentially, asking you, have you done this yet? Have you done this yet? And it's yes or no. If you have, we skip to the next one. Have you done this yet? And he works you through a checklist. You should, it's free. It'll take you a while to do it, but it's a really great tool to figure out where you have, where are your gaps? Where haven't you worked on yet? What haven't you worked on yet, right? There's also the link to the free marketing design team. There's logos and seals and promotional videos, but do BizVelop. Try to figure out when. You have to manage your time, maybe tonight, instead of watching TV after class, maybe do the BizVelop tool. It's, it's a really great tool. Also, we do webinars, free, live, online, interactive webinars, and they're all video recorded as well. So if you go to nachi.org slash webinar and type in, oh, I don't know, let's type in marketing, right? I love this webinar. This is a great training class, a great presentation. Be the best burger in town, right? Invest one or two hours, maybe uh, a night, maybe on the weekend, uh, maybe a few hours during the week in order to uh, work on your marketing, use the resources. I would invest an hour or two if you're building a business every night, right? Just smash your TV with a hammer. Too bad. You'll, you'll see it in a few months after you're highly successful and you got a ton of cash to buy a real big screen TV, but there's no more video games, no more uh, uh, Netflix uh, or anything like that. While you're building a business in order to make a great living, because being a home inspector in Florida, that is an opportunity to make a ton of cash and make a great living. <laughs> I was a home inspector in Pennsylvania. I made a great living. I bought a house, raised a family. Really great opportunity to make a great living in this business. And InterNACHI has all the resources that you need, but you have to invest your time. So time is precious. So we give you these resources. I would invest an hour tonight and watch the Be the Best Burger in Town marketing and business webinar video. Okay, and start and grab a notebook. I'm old school. I need to write. I can't. I can't do no electronic notes with my fat fingers. So I, I write down the notes and take notes and then work on those things that we go through in order to build your business to be successful. So those are two great resources. You have to log into the Natchi dashboard and click the business development tool and then go to natchiorg slash webinar and uh, register for the next live upcoming webinar or watch a uh, recording. If you wanna reach out to real estate agents and network with them, we have resources for you. natchiorg slash presentations. This is a great, that's how I got all my business. 95% of my business, it wasn't from referrals from past clients, don't know why. I guess I was just busy with real estate agents. And we tried to have at least 30 real estate agents that worked with our company per inspector. So every inspector, when you grow, every inspector should be working with a network, his or her own network of real estate agents, right? And we, if you wanna do a presentation, we have those resources for you. And I, I, in this video, I show you how to do a presentation. Don't talk about yourself. Talk about something else like AFCIs or deck safety or landscaping or lighting. These are PowerPoint slides so you can customize yourself. You slide the logo in that InterNACHI marketing team is going to design for you. You slide that logo into the front title of the presentation. You do a five minute presentation about um, 10 common home defects. And then you pass out your business cards that the InterNACHI marketing team is going to design for you, right? For about a hundred bucks, you get a huge box of business cards. 
That's the first thing you should do. Go to the internet cheese marketing team and have them design a logo for you. And you use that logo in anything you want, especially your website. And we'll talk about that later as well. State specific information. Let's go to your state webpage, natchee.org slash Florida. I don't know if you've been there yet, but it starts with how to become a licensed home inspector in Florida and taking the Florida exam and then be, how to become a certified inspector so that all of the resources that are provided only to the certified inspectors are available to you. After you uh, attain your license and you're doing business, you need to renew your license. We have that covered for you as well. You're at the House of Horrors taking some great training. We have insurance. Insurance is required. You have to carry insurance in Florida. We have good inf uh, information about that. You should know the legal documents like the standards of practice in Florida. Internachi has a standards of practice, but that's a national one. Local ones um, overrule national ones. So you have to follow the state standards of practice. If you wanna do mold, we have that covered for you as well. Min wind mitigations as well, four point inspections. We have information on WDO inspections. If you wanna do commercial properties, when you're a home inspector, you deal with hundreds of dollars. When you're a commercial property inspector, you deal with thousands of dollars. A job could be five grand. Um, if you want to do home energy, help people learn about insulation, air conditioning, heating and cooling costs, there's a Florida home maintenance book that adds physical weight to your electronic report. So you can give um, your clients a hundred page full color uh, home maintenance book. We have free real estate CE. So when you're doing a presentation about AFCIs or common house defects in and out, feed people and then hand them out this card that provides those licensed real estate agents in that office free CE to renew their license. And then we have a message board just for Florida home inspectors. If you click that, and this is all on your state page, natchee.org slash Florida, there's someone who is asking about four point and wind mitigation software, which is really important. Scott Baker is asking for it, asking about that. So you can engage in conversation with other inspectors. And then, uh, we've got some stuff about the building code administrators and, uh, board, the electrical contractors licensing board. We got radon, uh, school partners, uh, vocab. We have just a ton of resources. I would just scroll down this entire page and take a look at everything that's available, especially discounts on Florida attraction. Like we, as you're, because you're a member of internet, you can get discounts on like if you wanted to go to a, a fun place with your family or friends. If you've never run a home inspection business, no big deal. doesn't matter what industry you're coming from. If you're a, um, a science teacher from a high school and you wanna do something a lot of fun, you can take a home inspection business course. It's online and free. Just go to our natchee.org education page and type in any topic that you want into the search engine. So if I wanted to do um, uh, business, there's the link to the home inspection business course right there, okay? Oh, and might as well click I, I might as well log in with you. Chapter 11, I love chapter 11 of the Home Inspection Business Course because it's all about calculating a profitable fee. In Florida, it's really competitive because many inspectors think that lowering their fees is a good business decision. It's probably one of the dumbest things you could do to lower your fees. Because when you compete on price, lowest price wins, and that's no good for anybody. So what you wanna do is you wanna hang out with folks who compete on value and have fun competing with your friendly competitors and talk about what services are you providing and how are you providing it? Are you flying drones to do a roof? Are you doing sewer scope ancillary inspections? Um, are you hooked up with a network of business professionals that give you referrals? When you add value, like adding a Florida home maintenance book to every client. When you add value, then you can increase your fees. When you don't have value, then you're just cheap. And a cheap inspection, well, you know, we're trying to change that in Florida. We're trying to educate home buyers and real estate agents that you basically get what you pay for. And we can't survive on a $200 home inspection. Just can't, we haven't raised our fee for decades, we should be around, according to the value that you provide, 
to home buyers, you should be around a thousand dollars per inspection. That's how valuable the information you provide to your client is. It's incredibly valuable. You go through a lot of training and certification and licensing requirements in order to provide that value, that information to your client. Even if the house is brand new and there are no defects at all, that is great, valuable information to know, right? You're helping folks who are about to make one of their biggest decisions if you're doing a home inspection, financial decisions that will last the rest of their life. That is of incredible value. It's critical that they understand the information that you're going to provide. And so you, when you compete with that kind of mindset in the market, you increase your value to the point where it's almost irrelevant what you charge. That's why I want you to go to the webinar page and click that uh, recording of being the best burger in town, because there is a restaurant in my neighborhood that has the best burger in town. It's a $17, it used to be 15. It's a $17 burger. Now they increase their fee because they're simply the best. And there's a ton of other restaurants that serve cheeseburgers and they're cheap. You can go to McDonald's and get a buck. Why do some people want the best burger in town, not necessarily the cheapest? So that's how the business model for you should be. That's how I was successful. That's how many, most, I, I, all, I would say all successful home inspectors that I know base their business upon value. And they calculate their fee based upon the value that they provide. And also some math, there's some basic math too. So if you are thinking about going into business and looking over around to your left and right and trying to figure out, well, maybe I should beat this person on price, you're not gonna be in business very, very long. So if you wanna take a look around the room, one third, the stats are, Internet has these stats, the stats are one third of you in that room won't be here next year. One third of you will be in the middle. You're working, you're making money, but you want to grow. And the other third will, be, will do fantastic. Will turn out to be the veteran certified master inspectors eventually. So I want to change that, that one third, one third, one third, right? Because there's plenty of room. The pie is plenty big. There's a lot of different types of ancillary, ancillary inspections to provide in order to run a successful home inspection business. There's a, there's a lot of resources that internet you provides, and I want you to take full advantage of those. Like mentoring, you're never alone. So we have a mentoring program. You'll meet some of those mentors in the five-day class. So you go to natchitorg slash mentoring and you can find a mentor, or if you know someone who should be a mentor, they can sign up to be a mentor. And these mentors are veteran inspectors, experienced inspectors who have agreed to volunteer their time to help other inspectors out. So we have a mentoring program. The point is, Internet does a lot of things online, but you're never alone. We also have an inspection community that's on the natchi.org forum. You got to have some thick skin. There's a lot of people there, you know, and we all have our different opinions about things. But this is a great resource. If you wanted to find out about anything, you just use the search button up there and type in what you're looking for. And there's a great opportunity for you to engage in conversation with other inspectors. There's chapters too. So go to natchi.org slash chapters and you scroll down to Florida and there are three Florida chapters. Why attend a, a chapter? Well, you wanna rub elbows with your friendly competitors. Figure out where you are in relation to everyone else. See if you're missing something. Maybe you should be doing something. Maybe you're Maybe the rules have changed or something new has come along, right? But so you also want to engage where you are. Are you, you go to a chapter meeting? Is it, maybe it's live, you know, or virtual. Do you feel green and out of touch? Or do you feel like you've got every, everybody beat? That's the value of the chapter. One of them. The other thing is that you learn something and you have a lot of fun 
uh, having pie and coffee as well. Staff support. We're all on the contact page. There's 26 full-time staff that work at InterNACHI and they all work for you. So if you wanted to go to the contact page, feel free to ask anybody that works at InterNACHI, what should I do next? How can you help me with my business? What is it that I should be doing right now? Ask them anything, right? I mean, to have a couple dozen people working on your business for you, answering your question, you can't, you can't pay for that, right? That's covered by your low membership fee. You can't hire a dozen people, like seven people in the marketing team. You can't hire seven people to work on your, that would be, I don't know what that, that cost would be, but they are actually available. All these people are available for you. So that's one of the resources that is hardly ever used actually, the staff. Find local inspectors. Why would I find local inspectors? I wanna know what my competitors are doing, my friendly competitors. So as somebody yell out a zip code, and we're going to spy on the competition in that zip code. Okay. Is that Colorado? Cold Springs. Pompano Beach? Yeah. Yeah, Pompano Beach. Okay, Pompano Beach. Sorry. Let's see. Okay, so we have Thomas Boyd. Oh, he's got CMI, ACI, RPI, licensed residential contractor. Let's see what he does here. Thomas Boyd, he's got a uh, website link. That's good, you gotta have a website. Let's find this website. That's a nice website, that's beautiful. That is a Florida home, pool, South Florida. Know before you buy, I love that. You gotta know before you buy. And you can request an inspection. Everything important is at the top right. You gotta have a website. I like. Thomas's website. Let's see who else. Oh, and you can go to Thomas's services, right? To see how you can beat Thomas. What does he do? Oh, single family, multifamily, townhomes, condominiums. These, this is a fantastic website. This is really good. I love the request and inspection too. Let's click that. Yep. I would suggest that um, this is almost too much to do. I would just have a book an inspection or schedule an inspection. Why request one? Just give me a link so that while Thomas is sleeping or having fun on the weekend, a potential client can actually schedule online a home inspection with Thomas, right? Let's go to Oscar Laura. Oscar Laura has a website. It's by on his website. Oh, I like that. That's a nice Google reviews are embedded. That's pretty important. Schedule inspection right in the middle. And this is Spectora. This is Spectora's. Spectora is a software company and they have uh, business features like um, features that you can embed on your website in order to schedule online. I like Oscar. That's a good website. How about Stephen Boyd? RHI inspections. So this is what I would do. I would try to figure out what is competing against me. Like, welcome to reliable home inspection team. There is a difference. That's nice. Schedule an inspection. These are really good. Request an appointment. Nah, use your home gauge account. Um, neither one is, I'm going to click. So I would say um, kind of missed it on there. Just like uh, that other website. I want to schedule an inspection. I don't want to request an appointment. An appointment. I hate appointments. I hate doctor's appointments, tooth appointments, uh, extraction of teeth. I want to schedule an inspection right now. So what you want to do is what is your competition doing? What kind of services? are they providing, right? Let's take a look, full comprehensive inspection. That's pretty cool, termite inspection. And then sample reports. I'll take a look at people's sample reports and see what type of report they're producing and see if I can beat them. If I can't beat this website, then I'm gonna have problems in my business. Immediately, I should be able to say, I can compete with this person because if you can't, then you have a problem. And usually the knee jerk, emphasis on jerk reaction, is to, well, I can't compete on services and, and sample reports and scheduling. 
I'm just going to drop my price. And that just hurts the entire industry. And you won't make it. So what we, oh, that internet buyback guarantee. That's really cool. Uh, the one thing I don't like is no one reads. So there's a thousand words here. I could care less about reading all that. Blah, 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 blah. It probably says the same thing that everyone else says. What you really want to do is just a website should be designed to convert the website visitor within a few seconds with enough resources that convince, convinces the visitor that they are truly indeed qualified or licensed or certified. And you can schedule right now because that's what, that's what a website is all about. It isn't about getting on Google page one. No one really knows how to do that. And it's a lie if anyone says that they do because it's proprietary. You can run ads too, but that's very expensive. What a website is really all about is when you get a business card, right? And someone hands another person the business card, there's a website and that night they'll type in the website or they'll scan the QR code that's on the business card and they'll jump immediately to the website. And that confirms that you are indeed in business, you exist and um, you can schedule immediately with one click. That's what a website is all about. Try not to design a website with the purpose of getting on Google. Design a website that is um, concise, not too many words, not too fancy, that gets people to schedule with you. This is how you conduct business. One other thing, let's, let's, let's spy on one more person. Let's see if we can find somebody. Jude. Jude, okay, so Jude doesn't have a website. You have to add your domain, your website address into your InterNACHI profile so that InterNACHI can send people to your website. So should I hire Jude? No, I'm personally, I'm not going to hire anybody who doesn't have a website. I'm not going to hire Jude. Jude's out. I don't care if they have all these logos or not. If they... They could be in Coral Springs and be a, the best inspector, uh, but I'm not going to hire Jude because Jude doesn't have a website. And it's so easy to get a website. It's affordable and fast. And I'll show you a resource on how to do that. And you update your InterNACHI profile with your website so that InterNACHI works to generate business for our members. We send people to your website. Uh, let's see. Let's just scroll down. Peter. Peter has a website, that's good. Let's see if Peter's on his website. Okay, no, uh, I, don't know. I don't know what any of this is. Has nothing to do with home inspections. Something about uh, Peter sells um, phones. So I'm not gonna buy that. Let's go back. What should be on the, the home page? You, I wanna see what I'm buying. So when I land on a burger restaurant website, I wanna see a picture of a burger. Buying a house, clapping hands. This is awful. I don't know what any of that means. Chat with damn good inspection. I don't want to chat with that. a person who's uh, dancing in their house. I want to see. I'm not. I'm not hiring these people, and I'm not happy right now because I'm. I just want to. I have a dream home. I want to know if everything is good in that house. So I want to see a picture of a home inspector. I want to see the picture of the burger. You want to be the hero of my story. Tell me that you are a certified home inspector, right? Like this, this website, South Florida Home Inspections. You want a picture of the inspector. This, uh, for me, maybe not for you, but this conveys where the home inspector lives. Oh, look how fancy. A big fancy house with a pool. That's why they're charging so much, maybe. Or maybe that's a house that I can't afford. I can't afford that house with a pool right there. I, I, this inspector only inspects large cities, right? And expensive homes with pools that I can't afford, right? That's not what you're supposed to be conveying. Your, your website is supposed to show the burger, the best burger in town. Show me you. You put you on the homepage, right? When I land, you have like three seconds to convert a potential client on your website to scheduling with you. And you got to give that person exactly what you're selling. You're not selling homes like a real estate agent. This is a great website for a real estate agent. I sell great homes in this area and they all have expensive pools right off the deck. Yep. 
has nothing to do with home inspections, right? So I can help you designing, marketing, but that's really the marketing team. I can help you with your website. We have a resource for that. But you really want to like take the home inspection business course. You want to watch one of my marketing tips videos or webinars or business webinars in order to really change your mind. Because when you are a home inspector, you think being the best home inspector in the whole world is going to make me successful. It won't. You think attaining a license in Florida as a home inspector is going to make me successful. It won't. It's all about marketing. And there's nothing new under the sun. We've basically been doing the same marketing strategies for a long time. You have to show people the value that you provide. You want to overwhelm your clients with incredible value. Why? So you can increase your fee. So you can stay in demand. Okay. Overwhelm your clients with value. So get a new website. I highly recommend fastsiteforyou.com. I love this company. I helped start it. It's run by my wife who is a certified inspector. And so you have inspectors designing websites for other inspectors and you go to fast site for you and you can get a fancy website like from Spectora or home gauge or home inspector pro or something like that. But I would say that's your second year purchase. Your first year purchase is you want to get online with a website that's designed by home inspectors for home inspectors and it's affordable and it makes you money. And then you can go for the fancy website later. So go to fastsiteforyou.com. That's an official vendor of InterNACHI. I hate it when a, one of our inspectors doesn't have a website. It's just incredible, right? It's one of, that, one of those third, that third group that won't be in business next year. Drives me nuts. So get job leads and you go to nachi.org slash inspection hyphen leads and you learn about getting job leads. InterNACHI has this big web presence and we collect uh, people searching for certified home inspectors in their area and we direct them to our inspectors. So you have to be certified. That's why you have to get a license and then certification. And we also have tips on how to get on Google and get reviews, Google reviews, and then embed them on your website. And you go to that URL for um, tips. If you need some basic advice and answers, like you can't find something, um, you can click the FAQ page and you can type in whatever you want, um, website. So you type in website and then some answers come up. How do I get a new home inspection website? Um, and then there's, oh, it goes to licensed home inspector and asbestos. So there's really only one answer, I guess. You can type in um, agreements. How do I find my inspection agreement? Operating agreements, how do I uh, use the online agreement? How do I use the agreement system? Uh, plain English pre-inspection agreement for inspectors. So there's the FAQ for those like late night questions that you have and you can't get anybody on the contact page. Go to inspector events. So log into your dashboard and you scroll down. Oh, I'm gonna log into my dashboard here. And you scroll down the page and there's inspector events, upcoming inspector events. You're at this one, so it's right here, but um, I would plan on taking a really beautiful vacation business trip to California. So we're having a convention in October. It's in Ontario, California, not Ontario, Canada. There's a town called Ontario, but it's in California, crazy. And uh, Southern California in October is a really great time. I'll be there. Um, my wife will be there. Uh, my family. Uh, everybody at internet, you will be there. It's a huge facility. Uh, we're expecting a thousand people to show up. We're going to have a lot of food and really good presentations. And it's a good, pretty good place to chill out. So think of events and don't miss out on news that happens to pop up. Go to the home inspector newsletter.com home inspector newsletter.com. You click that and then you click the subscribe button up there and you subscribe to the newsletter. It comes out um, once or twice every month so that you don't miss out on anything. Log into your dashboard. I would do this tonight. Um, become certified. There's six steps to certification, but log into your dashboard and click around. Click around for the things that you may want um, or need or want to work on. For example, under the apps, there's home inspector apps and tools. There's a fee calculator. 
which is kind of fun to think about. If you've never thought about how do I calculate the inspection fee? So um, let's say your base price is $350, but you can change that. You can change that base price to um, 300. Let's just do that. And this is a good tool to figure out how much you should be charging and to think about other factors um, when you're um, thinking about what to charge people. So what you wanna do is you wanna calculate a fee based upon how many miles you drive one way to get to the property. Let's say there's 10 miles away. How old is the home? Let's say it's 10 years. How large is the home? Let's say it's 2,500 square feet. How busy are you? Let's say it's about average. And you click the calculate fee button and you charge $300. That's, that's about right. Let's say um, you want to change the settings and you wanna change, um, now the gas is going up, right? You wanna charge 20 cents uh, per mile. And uh, maybe the age factor, you wanna do a dollar per year or something like that. And maybe the size factor doesn't matter. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe age factor, you don't charge more for older homes, which take you longer to do, right? You should be paid for that. But maybe you wanna charge um, uh, per square foot or something. So you save that. It's 10 cents per square foot. Let's see what happens. So you go back to the calculator, right? How many miles you wanna drive? 10 miles. How old is the home? 10 years old. How large is the home? 2,500 square feet. And you're about average busy. So you should be charging about $500. You're charging for the fee, right? This is the base price. Maybe your base price is lower, right? Or maybe this is too much. So you wanna figure out what are, your, what are your factors involved, right? What, let's put this to zero. I wanna do this to zero. I wanna show you one more thing. Save settings and then go back to fee calculator. This is a lot of fun. So uh, I wanna show you one more thing. How many miles you wanna drive? 10 miles, 10 years old, 2,500 square feet. About average, let's say I'm dead slow. Business is dead. I'm just starting off. Nobody knows how good I am and nobody knows anything about me. Um, so I'm dead. My base price is 300. My fee should be less than that. When there's, it's demand and prices, right? When your demand is low, you have to lower your price. But as soon as, how old is the home? How large is the home? How busy are you? As soon as you get very busy, your fee goes up, right? Now it's 360. So you can have a, an idea of demand and fees, size, distance, um, age of the home. These are all factors involved in figuring out how much you need to charge, right? You also need to know how much you need to make. Is it 50,000 a year? Is it 80,000? Is it 100,000? Um, I'd shoot for the sky if I were you and try to do the math and figure out how to make a hundred grand. I know a lot of inspectors who make a great living, right? In Colorado, incredibly busy. In Florida, I'm not sure about your area, but in a lot of inspectors, a lot of competition, a lot of business, right? You have to figure out how to be creative and price your services according to value and then demand. You wanna increase both. You wanna increase that demand. How do people demand your services? You have to be different from all the rest. You have to be the best burger in town. And how to do that? Well, you work on your marketing. You work on your marketing and services. So that's a fun app that's available through your dashboard. If you wanna know about software and inspection report writing and tips and checklists, we have a page for that. Um, there's the basic home inspection checklist, which you should use in order to inspect the house of horrors down in Florida four times, which is, and then submit that um, as your four mock inspections. That's one of the steps to be certified by InterNACHI. There's a free checklist software. That's what I would use to uh, do your four mock inspections. We have discounted software. We partner up through Inspector Outlet, uh, our, our uh, e-commerce partner, they sell um, software through vendors who give exclusive discounts to InterNACHI members. But also there's the gas furnace inspection checklist, there's a home energy inspection, there's a mold, there's a pool and spa checklist. So you download this pool and spa checklist. What do you do with it? 
you upload it into your software, which you carry around on a mobile device. So make sure your software is working on your mobile device so that you look smart during your inspection. You look like you're not making any mistakes and you're taking pictures and videos at the same time. And you know exactly what to inspect in sequential order that covers everything during a home inspection or a pool inspection or um, a mold inspection. So we have those checklists for you. Don't just let them die. Don't print them out on a piece of paper. You upload them and then customize them according to your inspection process into your software. And that's a resource. Every day you got to work on writing a great report, tweak a little sentence here and there, uh, correct that spelling error. Sorry about that. And always making improvements to your inspection report because that's what you're going to be judged on. That's why on your website, you should have sample reports so that people can see what you say and how you say it. It should be concise, easy to read, clear to understand, and uh, electronic. Uh, we have legal documents. Internet has like a legal Zoom for home inspectors. So you go to natchee.org slash documents, or you go to the education page and type in whatever subject you want, like business or legal. We have resources to help you handle complaints. We have that discounted insurance for Florida. You go to natchee.org slash insurance. You can go here, show you what it looks like. And you can watch some videos. You can scroll down to learn about um, deductibles and what happens when you get sued. I've been sued. I took, uh, I've been taken to small claims uh, a few times, one in a few minutes because I was able to um, have all of my legal documents and um, processes and procedures reviewed by a local business attorney. So if you can find a local business attorney, maybe ask around for some resources, let him or her review everything you do, including your inspection reports. Let your attorney read what you say and how you say it and let them guide you in, um, in that. Uh, review the uh, online agreement system, review the agreements that you have. Um, the local business attorney helps you sleep well at night. They're expensive, but you don't have to worry about someone complaining because there's a resource for you. When uh, somebody wants to complain, they get the phone call or the email, hey, you inspected my house a few months ago and now I have a problem, right? That's how it always starts off. Or maybe it's an attorney letter. The local business attorney should be ready to go because they've reviewed what you do and they're ready for an, a quick response and let them respond um, by email or by letter. And the local business attorney usually knows the other attorneys other legal offices, other law offices. And they also know the local magistrates, the judges and things like that. So it's a great resource. It's expensive, but it's well worth it. Get your legal stuff in order and we help you with that as well. You, we already went through the Florida home, and, uh, home uh, resources uh, at natchee.org slash Florida. You get the training and the certification and also the CE. There's also a master class. It's a really big class. It goes over everything. Um, at, that's at natchee.org slash masterclass if you want to take a masterclass. If you want to drive around and listen, uh, we have a home inspector podcast and that's at natchee.org slash podcast. We have webinars as well. There's one coming up soon, um, natchee.org slash webinar. They're free live online, but just register so you can watch the video recording later. And then there's a 15 step checklist for success. And there's everything you need to be a successful home inspector. This could be overwhelming. So I made this page so that it's easy. Um, you've already done step one and step two you're working on. Step one is you join InterNACHI. You wanna be a member of the largest, world's largest organization of residential and commercial properties in inspectors. So you can take full advantage of the membership benefits and resources. And then you wanna get trained and certified. The primary reason to get certified again is all about marketing because your license your professional license isn't going to make you successful alone. Then you wanna get free job leads. Remember, you wanna get a website and update your profile with that URL so InterNACHI can send you job leads. You wanna take a business course so that you're not that lower third. You wanna be up there to the upper two thirds where you know exactly how to operate a home inspection business, set um, your fees and your prices according to the value that you provide.
and the demand. You want to drum up demand. You want to get marketing so you can drum up that demand in order to stay in business and drive up your prices and keep them high. Um, and we have a lot of people working for you. You want to take advantage of the marketing team. And then you want to get a website. Make sure you have a good, basic, uh, customized website that shows off you on the homepage. It's designed with all the resources that InterNACHI has. Like InterNACHI has a call me now button. Um, it's a button that people are uh, gonna click when they're visiting your webpage and your phone rings. And it's the person visiting your website. And that's a free service. I mean, that's ideal. You wanna talk to the person, you wanna say, hello, this is Ben from Big Ben Inspection. I see you're, you're visiting my webpage right now. Would you like to schedule a home inspection? Right? Or you can just text them if you don't want to talk to them. It's a great resource. So there's some uh, website things there for you. And you want to take advent advantage of your membership be benefits. And then there's things you want to boost your business with. And Internet actually has a ton of things that will help you boost your business. If you, uh, you go as far as you know. So if you want to keep going and learning more, we have advanced training courses uh, on the website and you want to get good tools as well. So our e-commerce partner, Inspector Outlet, they sell the best tools. If you can't find something, just email Nikolai or Heidi um, or Thomas or, or me. Um, we're all on the contact page. Um, and again, what you really need is a good flashlight with good lumens, high lumens and a GFCI tester and you're ready to go to make money. And writing great reports is really important too. Um, you should concentrate on it and work on it every day. And we have some uh, resources for you. I like the defect recognition and rep report writing course. You go through defects and you try to write um, a sentence about that defect. That's pretty good. And you want to take care of your clients as well. Um, and uh, you want to treat your clients like gold because um, they can refer. They're like unpaid. They're an unpaid sales force. They're talking out there about you. Oh, and also like I live in a great neighborhood. Everybody in my, when I moved here, I moved here um, less than two years ago. Everybody in my neighborhood knows that I'm the home inspector. Um, there was a problem with the roof uh, right over there. I'm pointing to it. And the neighbor came by um, before the winter came by and when it was still raining. And um, she knew I was the home inspector. Never met her. Uh, it was great. I helped her out with the roof, gave her advice, uh, did an inspection. So anybody who has a, uh, an event, a weather event here, I'm in Boulder, Colorado, we have high winds, um, things fly off and with high winds and we have uh, rain, um, unexpected rain, heavy rains in a relatively dry climate. That's a lot of fun to um, solve those problems. And everybody in your neighborhood should know that you are that great resource for homeowners, not just home buyers, but for homeowners. And if you start to market in your area, then you've got your neighborhood uh, tied down, right? You should be able to uh, communicate with your neighbors about who you are and what you do. And by the time you're done talking to all of your neighbors, you know that elevator pitch and you're ready to talk to real estate agents and other professionals, and you're ready to compete in a much larger neighborhood, a, a market area. And now you can talk to the internet marketing team and tell them exactly why you should be hired instead of the other inspector because you've gone through the process of thinking talking to your neighbors in an informal way about something you're developing formally which is your brand your brand is the answer to the question why should i hire you imagine someone who's going to be outside of the house of horrors building and they want to hire an inspector because they heard you were all here. So they figured they come over and the first person to answer the question gets the job. Why should I hire you? You have to go through the mental exercise of answering that question. And it has to beat the person coming out of the door next, right? Why should I hire you? So when you're in that position where you can answer that question and it is better than everyone else, then you're the best burger in town and you can charge $17 for that burger. That's where you want to be. You don't want to be scrounging and groveling and, and begging for jobs 
and lowering your price as you go, right? What you want to do is figure out why you're the best inspector. What makes you different from all the rest? So that when people are looking around, there's really no one else to look at. So you have to get that through your system. You have to figure out why you're different and why you're the best and to take advantage of the particular assets that you have. Maybe it's your look, maybe it's your background, maybe it's your experience, maybe it's your youth, maybe it's um, your tech, uh, how technical you are. Maybe you can communicate. You'd beat me if you do something technical, like text your clients. I can't text. I, I can't stand it, right? But maybe if you can schedule with texting, that beats me. I love to get up on the roof, but if you fly a drone, you can beat me. Um, I, I do two inspections a day. I don't have time to talk slowly during an inspection, but maybe you do. Maybe you can handhold, especially first time home buyers and real estate agents love that slow pace, but I can't, right? Cause I'm doing two or three. I got to blow through. I got roof inspections. I got wind mitts and I got, I got 10 wind mitts today. I got to go like this. So maybe you can compete with somebody who's actually highly successful, but you're just new. There's so many ways to compete in the marketplace. And that's part of what I want to encourage you to do. Invest your time this week, learn how to perform an inspection, but don't forget the marketing side of things. And it's so much fun. That's the fun part of running a business, right? The marketing. So um, your homework for tonight, <laughs> if you want to be a student again, I uh, log into your account and learn how to access everything, everything you need. It's all in one place. Register for a webinar. There's an upcoming webinar. I think I'm doing it in a couple months or so uh, about performing an inspection. And we can talk about how you're doing, uh, doing inspections and look up commodity. Um, go to dictionary.com or thesaurus.com and look up the word commodity. You don't want to be a commodity. A commodity is um, some, a service or a product or something, let's say a home inspection service, that's no different from the rest. And the only difference in a commodity is price. A commodity can be exchanged one thing for another. There's really no difference. That's where you do not want to be. You do not want to be a commodity because commodity is all about lowest price wins, right? And you're not going to be in business if you're going to do that. That is not a smart business strategy to be a commodity. We're all performing home inspections according to a standards of practice. And in Florida, you all hold the same license. Now what? Don't make the difference price. Make it something else. Make it your brand. Ask yourself, why should you be hired instead of your friendly competitor? Spy on your competition. See what they're doing. Make sure you're different. Say something different. Show something different on your homepage. Don't be like that website that shows an expensive, fancy house that I can't buy, right? Show me you right here. This is what makes you different from all the rest, you. How are you going to overwhelm your clients with incredible value that's different from everyone else? And when you can figure that out, then you're going to make a great living. And that's what I wanted to share with you. I love doing my work. I love helping home inspectors. That's why I give you my email. I don't give you my phone number because I'm terrible on the phone, but I give you my email so that whenever you need anything, um, that's what I'm here for. So email me, ben at internet.org about anything you need so you're successful, okay? So that's what I wanted to share today. I hope it was helpful. Do we have any questions? Anybody have any questions? Ben, um, one of our students would like to know a little more about overseer.com. Yep. Um, let's see. Over. So overseer.com is an idea that, um, that like reloads or absentee buyers or investors, or maybe, uh, someone who's doing a project 
needs a third party, neutral, trusted consultant, someone who can oversee a project going on, phase inspections, banks love that. You know, when I used to build homes, this is how I got into home inspections. You know, the, the old code inspector would come on his Harley and spend 15 minutes with me and just tear the heck out of my house that I was trying to build. They, he was overseeing a project in place for the bank. And then if everything went well, I got the next phase or chunk of money in order to continue building, right? So it's all about helping somebody who can't be there. Even if they can be there, they don't know what they're looking at. So you're the trusted third party neutral professional that can give an unbiased opinion as to what is going on. You can oversee a roof replacement. You can oversee some installation going on, a renovation project, something like that's the idea. So if you wanted to sign up for that, you can join um, overseeit.com and it's at overseeit.com, overseeit.com. That and I would put that on my website. If, if you're gonna join, if you're gonna be that third party neutral, it's a perfect place to be. I mean, the, use the code of ethics to your advantage. You know, don't offer to fix stuff that you're inspecting. Offer to be that third party. What other profession has that where you can trust somebody in your kitchen table to tell you the story of the dream home that you're about to buy? And if you have any problems ever again, uh, this is why I tell my clients in the kitchen just before I leave. If you have any problems with this house, you call me. Before you hire that HVAC guy, before you hire the roof technician or something like that, you call me. Any problems that come up, I want to be involved in helping my neighbors. Oh, that is an amazing thing. That's, that's unheard of in any industry. You know, you have this professional who lives in your neighborhood that you can call and they can come over and check things out. That's where you want to be. Anybody else have any other questions? All right, Ben, um, nobody else has any questions. Thank you so much. We apologize for the delay. Oh, no way, Maker. Thank you so much, Michael. I really appreciate it. You're doing great down there. Couldn't run this class without you. I really appreciate you being a member of Internet G and helping the students out and running the house of horrors. It's just the best. You're the best, man. Thanks, Ben. Have a great day, buddy. Bye. You got it. Bye, everybody.